What's up guys, your boy Bettino. So for this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys three steps on how to fix Fortnite when it isn't launching. So guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, comment, and with that being said, let's get into the video. But guys, please, if you watched this video and didn't work, I have another video for you. I'll put the link in the description. Watch it and try it out. So guys, let's get into the video. So guys, the three steps we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put the three steps on screen right now. The first step we're gonna do is give, give full control to Fortnite. So guys, basically this one is you're gonna let Fortnite have a little bit of control over your computer, which is gonna help him run quickly and able to boost up. And the second one is configuration, which we're gonna configure your computer on Fortnite from direct x11 or, or performance mode because when you play performance mode it's actually different and most of these crashes happen when you play on performance mode so guys we're gonna bring it back to direct x11 so this one is basically mostly on pc players but that doesn't really matter guys and then the last one we're gonna be doing the troubleshooting troubleshooting is gonna help two settings that might help you run fortnite and that's pretty much it so guys the first thing you're gonna do is for the full control the first thing you're gonna do is, is go to your files like here this pc you're gonna open it so basically it's gonna be fun it's gonna be in the program files program files and you see epic games just follow me and fortnite games binary win 64 and you're gonna scroll down when you get to fortnite so you see this four fortnite icons and you just right click on it go to properties and you're gonna go to, to security and what we're gonna do is you're basically gonna click on the system and make sure you have full control this make sure you have full control make sure fortnite has full control over it so if you don't have full control and you want to do it what you're gonna do is you're gonna press edit and you're gonna choose full control you go to system and you choose full control i already have all of them checked so i don't really need to do that basically you're gonna do that for all the four of them and that's pretty much it for the first step so guys moving on to the second step we are gonna need to configure fortnite so guys i know i've did this video this same step but some people don't seem to to do it in my other video i did this and my mic was pretty bad so it doesn't really matter so so what are you basically gonna do with your epic epic games you're gonna open open epic games so you you have opened the epic games app right now so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your settings and if you need because it's really show a message up here they say restart so guys if you see the message make sure to click restart and update i mean to say then make sure you don't have run when my computer starts because it's gonna, basically gonna be running the background application so and it isn't gonna be good so guys then when you're done with that you need to verify fortnite like yeah go to the library click right click on this small icon and verify it so when that's done here we go the real step of it so you're gonna sh scroll down when you get a setting scroll down and you're gonna see fortnite you're gonna click on fortnite guys and when you click or click on fortnite you're gonna see additional command line argument so you're gonna click on that and i'm gonna put this code right on screen right now it's gonna be d3 d and 11 so that's gonna be the code i'm gonna put it on screen right now you make sure you apply this code when you're done with that you're gonna restart your computer just click enter on your keyboard and you just go back restart your computer or if you want to just launch it like that that's pretty much okay and the, we are gonna then we're gonna need to go to your settings then you're gonna need to go to right here you search back background apps then you're gonna see background apps you need gonna need to turn this off you're gonna need to turn this off because you often disturb fortnite when you're playing fortnite and you don't really have a good computer like that yeah so you're gonna need to turn that off and that's pretty much it for the second step so guys moving on to the next step if you're watching this video to this part guys please make sure to subscribe and turn on notification help me get to my goal guys so on to the last step guys so for this last step you're gonna need to do troubleshooting guys the troubleshooting is gonna help troubleshoot fortnite and clear boost up fortnite when it's gonna troubleshoot it so guys just follow me Let's, basically you're just gonna need to go to lokadex and pro Pro, oh my god program files epic games fortnite fortnite games binaries win 64 and you're gonna need scroll down you're gonna see the four fortnite files again basically you're just gonna right click on the first one and troubleshoot compatibility and it's gonna detect issues and then you're gonna try recommended settings i didn't really want to try that one and so and then you could troubleshoot this program and then you're gonna see files and things that you can choose guys and basically like the first one says the program work in elevation 
of Windows, but wouldn't install or run now. Maybe you like reinstall Windows, or maybe you were playing in the last season and it didn't work. Mm -hmm. So you're just gonna choose this one and the program open, but doesn't display currently like it worked earlier and it doesn't display right now. You're just gonna need to choose this one and the program require additional permission. This additional permission is basically the what we already done in the last step. In the other step which is um add the uh, um, additional line argument or it might still mean like fortnite one more permission like full control which is what we already did in the beginning and the last step is i don't see my problem if you don't really know the problem like fortnite runs in the background and you don't really really know what it all is then you're just gonna click next and you're gonna choose windows 8 and you're gonna choose next again and you're gonna see the error messages um they say error message saying the program needs to run in two 256 colors or 8 bits color mode basically i don't really know what this what i mean but guys what i need you to do is you're gonna just push the program start in a in a small window 640 to 480 pixel which is basically like the jonesy image is gonna show on screen which i'm gonna put the short image on screen just like this like this i'm gonna put the program like this and then that's it we, then it won't display in the full screen so guys you're gonna need to choose this one and this one and this one and uh the one then you're gonna click next and that's pretty much it so guys if you really don't really know guys just that's pretty much the last step and just need to just play with the troubleshoot settings if it doesn't work the other ones just play with the troubleshoot settings just click choosing settings that makes a little more a little bit more sense and that's pretty much gonna fix everything so guys thank you for watching the video to the end guys if you watch the video to the end please you're a legend i'm telling you you're a legend please subscribe and please help me get to my goal and we'll see you in the future guys in the next video i know i don't really upload too much but thanks for watching peace out